Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow, and we built these Adirondack chairs for our parents as a Christmas gift, and today we're going to show you how we did it. Let's get to it. I start off by cutting all my lumber into the sizes that I need, and I'm just using 5 fourths uh, by 6 inch wide western red cedar. And I didn't use any plans or, or templates. I didn't buy any templates. I just bought some quarter inch uh, plywood and I sketched out some templates that I thought would, you know, be what the pieces look like. And that's what I went with. So this build is 100% my own design. So hopefully it turns out well. And you can see here I didn't make templates for every single piece. I just, you know, used a measuring tape and a framing square. This stack of lumber is all my cut pieces that I'm going to need. Now I'm using the jigsaw to cut all my pieces to the shapes that I want them to be. And you can see here that not all my templates are exact size to the pieces that I need. And the reason for that is, you know, I didn't know any dimensions on any of this lumber. I, I just kind of guesstimated what I needed and I went with it and I did my best to make it work. Now I'm securing my belt sander to my table saw so I can rough sand all my pieces. I'm putting these pieces in these in this clamp to uh, sand them and make them identical to each other. Now that all my pieces are rough sanded, I can strap my router down to my table saw just to secure it and we 
can router all the edges. And I'm just using a quarter inch roundover bit with a bearing on it. Now I'm using a 45 degree router bit with a bearing. Now we can start drilling all of our holes in our seat slats. And I made this jig just to make all of our holes identical. And now I can start finish sanding all the pieces with a random orbital sander. I'm finally done with all the sanding, and this is what my pieces look like. Now I'm just setting the lumber up and screwing it all together. And I'm using two inch stainless steel screws. And you want to make sure that you pre-drill all your holes because the, this western red cedar is really dry and it'll split pretty easily. It's snowing outside and my garage is freezing, so we're gonna crank up some heat. I'm sanding this back brace roughly to about a 30 degree angle. I used my jigsaw to make some notches on the armrest just to fit the back slats so they, they clear.
And this is a seat slat that goes up against the back slats and I'm trying to match that same 30 degree angle. Now we can start installing our seat slats. I just used some quarter inch tile spacers to space them apart. This is what it looks like all together. And here I got the second one built too. I just saved you guys all that time of re-watching me do all that work again. <laughs> And here you can see that the chair on the left is coated with epoxy coating and the chair on the right is not. And here I'm pulling these slats off so I can install some carriage bolts. I'm using uh, 5 16 stainless steel carriage bolts by 2 inch long and I'm using a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit to um, recess them into the wood. And I do the same thing at the back of the armrests. Now I'm going to take the chair completely apart so I can apply the penetrating epoxy on each individual piece. This is the penetrating epoxy that I'm using and I'm using these small measuring cups because uh, I just want to use small portions of this because it, uh, it'll harden and you'll waste a lot of it if you uh, mix big, big batches of it because it just takes too long to rub it all on. Here I taped up all the uh, pieces that are going to be in contact with the ground and I pour about an eighth inch uh, thick layer of epoxy on any pieces that are going to have ground contact. Now we can start coating the rest of our pieces. And I just use a real thin layer. Um, you don't want this stuff to, to build up like, you know, if you were pouring an epoxy table, I'm just, I'm just wiping it down basically. Because I'm gonna spray a halcyon finish on them once the chairs are all put back together. This is what it looks like with all the pieces coated with penetrating epoxy. And now I have both the chairs coated with penetrating epoxy and put back together. And this is the Halcyon finish that I'm using. I hope this video proved to y'all that it's okay to, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and try something new. You might build something great. I hope you all found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe down below and hit the bell so that you get notified on all future videos. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time. <laughs>